welcome students to this excel max online classes it just want to one introduction so we are doing this from monday to friday between 6 to 7 or 7 15 like that we are just putting some topics and we are interacting you can also give some topics some ideas some suggestions to make this chat more interesting you can refer this to your friends neighbors and well wishes today's topic is how to study effectively tips for studying tips for studying is given from childhood by the parents by elders by well wishes by the school so sometimes uh, by we follow others who get first marks good marks and all so today's topic is how to study effectively generally we have a topic in maths till now maths in everyday life even fair of maths how to score in maths so maths 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 was all, almost we just went through a topic that there uh here and we found out how to score in maths and maths being a very hot topic for a lot of the students today thing is how to study effectively or a tips to study the first question arises is when you're going to your school if it's a working day school day when to study morning or night there is a lot of controversy there is a lot of debate over it especially between old generation and new generation uh, so some may follow certain things like uh, so and so boy or girl got comes first in the class and she is telling she is studying in the night and he is studying is studying in the morning if you ask the elders parents and all they will say studying early morning is better but that is that concept has gone for a great extent now they study even till late night and because generally in those days they go early to bed and early to rise so good proper i mean bravo they go early to bed and get up early so early morning they get up and do like 4 4:30 and all but nowadays almost all houses in rural or urban wherever it is because of the coming of the social media and this kind of what television or all this kind of uh, communications smartphones and all so generally and uh, the parents come home after their work so it takes around 11 o'clock minimum 10:30 11 to go to sleep in a urban area in a city like mumbai chennai kolkata bangalore whatever it is so how to study the topic is actually and when to study is morning or night so being a teacher i consulted a lot of students many of them many said it's better to study in the night morning we feel sleepy because we go late to sleep like 11 most of the parents work little far off place in city and all they have to catch a bus or a train or a bike they have to come home or a car where they know in traffic jams and they come home and uh, they go to a dinner between 8:30 and 9 9:30 sometimes some programs they see and if they are elders in the family or joint family it will take 11 to 11:30 to go to sleep minimum 11 or 10:30 at least and now this this is actually followed in rural areas also even in small towns so they give things so when you get up early morning if you don't go to sleep earlier you will feel sleepy you will have a headache the whole day will be dull for you 
you'll feel a headache and sleepy thing all day. You'll feel irritated, dull and all. Because you have to go to the school and in the morning everybody gets ready. The parents have to go to the work, the servant comes, she cleans the houses. If the, both the parents are working, it's a big problem. And the mother also, dad and mom both has to get ready, the parents have to get ready, the children have to get ready, they cook something. So morning you can't do much nowadays uh, because of a lot of practical difficulties. So if you want to study after you come from school or college, if you come around 4, 4.30, you can have some snacks. In those days, they go for some games, play out and come. But nowadays, they go for these kind of uh, TV communication, social medias and just chatting with the friends in phone. So you can start your study by around as a two parts. If you are below 10th, till 10th means you can study between 6.30 to 8.30 at 9. And then after dinner, you can have some leisure time, watch some programs or watch some thing in the smartphone which you like and then go to sleep. If you are in a higher class, you can split into two sessions in the night. Uh, one before dinner and one after dinner. You finish by dinner by 9.30 till 11, you can study. 9.30 or 10, at least 10.30, 10.45, you can sit and study. And before dinner also you can study because higher class involves lots to study. Uh, to uh, go for entrance and other things, you have to be prepared well. So, how to study is main thing is the time. Every day we go to school, we go to college, we have to take a bus and go, we have to take a train and go, the parents have to go for a job and they have to prepare food for us. So it's a tedious job in the morning. So around uh, nine, ten person may study in the morning. Probably it's a holiday. So nobody goes for morning. Morning some homework if you want to do some, that's also hard for school homeworks, they, they rush up. So as I told you, you can split into two parts, before dinner and after dinner. If you want, you can study or finish the homework. For, for many of them, homework is a headache. Next day, the teacher will ask. We have to submit to the class teacher or to the class leader. She will collect the books and give it. Or sometimes she will say who has done the homework, who has not done the homework. So. Also, if there are some projects are involved, many schools nowadays give projects. Even from first standard, second standard, they give some projects where you have to stick certain things, birds, for example, about birds, you have to stick it about vegetables, about animals, about livestock, about pet animals, wild animals. I'm telling you a story like projects they give for what students in lower classes, second standard, third standard. They go to the shop, get a chart of pet animals and wild animals and birds, fishes, mode of transport to make them study lively. So if you're in lower class, you can finish the classwork. So till fifth or sixth, six standard, try to run parallel with the school. What they give us homework or classwork, you try to do it. These kind of homeworks are even given in the homework class as a building block to develop your knowledge, to develop your foundation to develop your infrastructure. In the long run, it will be useful. So, till 6th or 5th, follow the homework, what is given in the school or class or by the teacher. And do it well. As far as possible, do it thoroughly. Don't try to copy it. In the lower classes, you can ask your parents. Many, many houses, the parents help. Or you can ask your elder brother or elder sister. If you have it, they'll try to help you till fifth standard. Many parents can just go to the book and teach you. It's not that hard. Uh, I don't think uh, some parents or some students uh, go for tuition till fifth, which is not that much advisable. Or nothing they'll do with the tuition. They'll say they'll check what is the homework. They'll write the answer and give you to copy the answer. It's something like mechanical. 
your knowledge won't grow your iq won't grow and you have a fear for studies fear for the class fear for the teacher so for till some lower classes don't go for tuitions and work in the house student study and many parents because they have the problem with the children they send them for what tuitions for lower classes till fifth or they watch some tv or some elders in the house they watch some tv the children also sit and watch in the tv they go to younger host in the tv sometimes they watch even serial for the parents which only the elders can understand simply they watch with them so till fifth standard what i suggest is don't go for any tuitions work out what is given in the class as i said some projects they give some handwriting they give some minor work of they give some poetry you have to study so do that sincerely and first submit to your parents yeah you can just go and tell them or your elder brother everything so i studied some things i'm a current so the parents can encourage the more you encourage the smaller children they study well their foundation becomes strong they'll get interested in studies for the maths science or the geography the parents can teach the drawing or elder brother sisters they can teach the drawings small drawings which will be useful in higher classes and uh, some addition subtraction and even what science subjects so till certain classes you can study till dinner and generally student till fifth they go to sleep till earlier like 9 after 9:30 it's very hard they are awake because morning they have to get ready and it's very hard to wake up them in the morning if they are awake till 10 o'clock and all morning it's hard to make them ready for the school so it's better students till like fifth or sixth can go to what sleep little earlier coming to students between 6 to 10 they have more responsibility more studies and they have to a lot of subjects lots to study and uh, they can't just simply while away time so as soon as they come to home come to the house after some snacks or anything they must start immediately don't postpone things first don't go to a tv or a smartphone or a computer first and then try to study means your mind won't accept to study your mind will be more interested in that thing smartphone in the computer or tv whatever it is chatting with a friend and all so what you do if you're in a stands class between 6 to 10 try to study before dinner work out the homework and try to do it and try to have your dinner like 9 o'clock 9 9 30 so by 10 you can go to sleep nothing harm for students between 6 to 10 going to sleep around 10 they can get up at 5 30 then morning it's very hard to study out of 100 students some 5 persons may say 5 persons to study in the morning as i said morning every people become busy the newspaper man will come the milk man will come and the morning the parents will get ready they will wash the house and uh, everything will be busy in the morning so it's and morning the time will go very fast so if you're between 6 and 10 you can start by 5 5:30 until 8:30 9:30 4 hours you can study don't say it's so 4 hours to study you got a lot of subjects so first make between 2 hours then increase to 2 and 1/2 hours then to 3 hours so that you can go and study these things so what you have to do is actually the tips on how to study for thing for higher class students when you go to school and tell them during school days uh, like friday is my monday to friday for some schools are special class on saturday those times i'm telling for students about 10th 11th 12th hundred they must split this into two sessions before dinner and after dinner some works class works which has to be done you can do it first because th- those questions are asked in the test next day sometimes some teachers ask them to do in the board some teachers check their notebooks when they are done the homework some teachers ask some questions about the sum yesterday so try to learn what you learned that particular day try to work out that and any homework you work out after dinner about 9:15 or 9:30 till at least 10:30 or 11 depends upon thing you can study what extra thing 
welcome andrea archek good evening so abigail you joined it okay and uh, hope you understood the histogram but that's not the only topic in mathematics there are a lot of topics you have to study you have to ask doubts on it okay today topic is how to study effectively or tricks to study so mostly in those days they are studying in the morning now out of 100% only 5% are studying in the morning because everybody goes to sleep late every house whether it's city area or you know, rural area or urban area because parents come late and in morning there everybody is busy some you know, most of the parents both of them go for job and they have to make the children get ready cook the food and they have to pack up everything and leave. so studying morning is very hard so if you are getting first to sixth standard i was telling to study as soon as you come home and you can finish what is so in the class that's enough don't learn anything extra what the teacher gives you study in all the subjects till fifth standard and you can go to sleep by 8:30 early to bed is better for you students your mind will be fresh don't sit and watch tv or thing with the elders and waste your time in smartphones and all for students for first standard to fifth standard and then open what happen in the long run you will get headache if sleep is not proper that's the age to sleep till fifth standard you are supposed to sleep well your mind will grow your your body is a developing block it will grow well. so if you are like first to fifth you do that even parents don't encourage small children to work be awake till 10 o'clock 10:30 and listen to all the family stories or when they watch tv make them sit nearby so make them to sleep by 9 is better if everybody 6th and 10th as soon as you come home after having some snacks or something so if you come at 4:30 or 5 you can start by 6 o'clock till 9 9:30 you can study you can have a dinner and then you can go to sleep if you are above 10th this i'm telling for school days 11th and 12th of college split the evening session into before dinner and after dinner so before dinner you can do the class work the day's homework and be thorough with what i've been taught today then you can learn some extra sums for tomorrow or what is there uh, there's main thing now you should have a motivation to study this you must make it systematic many what they do they study one day they put a plan big plan monday they study tuesday they go to their room and uh, what happened the interest goes off so the motivation is nothing but systematic study so every day you have to put a time table to study for example i said you study between uh, if you come home at 4:30 5:30 you start till 8:30 3 hours so immediately you go and study for 3 hours first start for 1 half hours 5:30 to 7 then making make it 1 hour 40 minutes then make it two hours then two and a half hours three you can't avoid it so put a schedule and study is very important so motivation is very important you must make this systematic as a part and parcel of life uh, just like what you know dinner meals and other things it should be a part the so brain needs what food so you have to study as yes, age to study and do the homeworks everything and if you have any doubts you can ask and you can tell this to your friends neighbors and relatives with this live chat if you like this you can press the like button and subscribe for the channel we are also putting a lot of notification uploads so you can press the bell button and about the thing motivation what is meant by motivation it varies for everybody a parent has got different motivation the parent will always say to the boy or girl study 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 many students will say about my mommy and daddy are telling you every time study 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 even 10 minutes they are not allowed to talk in the phone i just hardly talk 5 minutes they say you talking for half an hour so the parents motivation is so should study unless they should not waste their time time won't come back because they spending for you they want you come up in life tomorrow you can be comfortable you can lead a peaceful life comfortable life you can enjoy life you can fly all over the world you can go abroad 
you can lead a comfortable life so that's why the parents makes you motivate to study they'll try to what ask what some parents make good different for the children what they like they buy and keep it sandwich whatever it is because uh, they want to encourage motivate the this thing children when you buy a girl so that they can sit and study main thing and also they buy and give a lot of things some uh, some make non veg so the students like it the boy or girl like non veg you study well they'll cook and give you so the parents motivation is main things the children should study next comes if you have a brother or sister you can follow them sometimes they'll be having some extra jobs they'll go out for to buy some shop don't see them so you sit and study in a room in a particular place you sit and study don't change the place sometimes that love psychological effect so you have to have a motivation to study so start for one and a half hours then make it two hours then make it two and a half hours like that to start and make it a systematic one don't study monday and then throw it away we'll see next time next you should have a concentration many we keep the book and sleep in that's why i said morning nobody gets up now this morning the parents will get up some will have they'll put alarm at 4:30 or 4 o'clock i'll study they say 4 o'clock they'll have the thing alarm again they keep at 4:30 again at 4:30 they'll have the alarm again they'll keep at 5 o'clock so it's better not to keep it you you get a headache only the whole day will be dull for you will have a headache so what you do is actually try to study in the night morning if you want for half an hour you can study because morning you will get ready you won't find much time because everybody will be busy in the morning so you can do it so the concentration is very important so if you sit in the morning when you will sleep in keep the book and sleeping on the book i see and the book will be open sometimes they will be sleeping with closed eyes sometimes the eyes will be partially open and be sleeping if you come on you can say it you can ask anyone so what is such a you study in the night or if a very particular it may be one or two don't follow others abhishek raj is mugging good good eh? mugging is good if you forget in the exam it's a problem if you if, if you study a definition and that definition if, what is power formula for power what is the energy the different kinds of energy you mug and go sometimes you forget means is a big problem when school is likely to open this is a hypothetical question where it's very hard to answer school will open only the corona goes because if every, if the school is open means right from the staff working there official staff subject staff students everybody will become sick so when school is likely to open for the students moderation how to improve concentration that topic can be improve concentration don't sit in front of tv don't sit near the elders they were talking some family matter don't get engrossed with it it's not good so go to a secluded place in your house if you got a separate room go there go to bed or something don't sit in front of others off your phone some parents they buy and give this cell phones smartphones from lower classes off that one at least at a particular time okay be in 5:30 7:30 or 8 how to overcome sleep how to overcome sleep is actually many students get sleep when they study how to overcome sleep the things they like if they sit playing some games in the smartphone sleep goes off roaming sleep goes off and there's no thing called overcome sleep if you have a challenge spirit you can overcome sleep okay. only small babies until fifth standard they sleep that's why i told If you are in lower class, try to go to till 5th standard. Study for some time. Do what you want. It's given in the school. 
a project or something and go to sleep early by 9 9:30 and parents also said don't allow the small children to be awake till 10:30 11:00 they have a headache in morning they get up for school that's the main thing and uh, so if you have a concentration and a systematic study is better and uh, many they ask doubts while studying while doing the homework itself they take the phone and ask a doubt the doubt will be for one minute or half a minute but they'll talk unnecessary, unnecessary matters in the phone they'll say why that boy is absent or girls why that girl is absent the topic will start the other girl will say i think she had gone out of station your mother is not well i actually so that that nothing to do with the study state the topic so that's why i said don't ask doubts and all in a phone in a thing cell phone so you, you do it if you ask phone also try to see the time cut off the phone that particular doubt you ask suppose you have one doubt you know pretty well that so so boy or girl is intelligent she can clear the doubt or he can clear it nothing wrong in asking the doubt you phone up and ask the doubt but don't talk unless the thing happened in the school going to happen tomorrow there will be some excursion next week and don't ask questions about what you are going to bring for the excursion what are you planning and uh, how are you going to come unless you cause uh, i think what questions you don't ask and don't go for conversation okay you get some main thing so you can ask doubt if there's somebody in the house you can ask they can tell you there also don't be talking unwanted thing as i told you don't cause go to a separate place and study don't sit to the elders they will talk some family problems don't sit near the tv where they are watching don't say don't watch sometimes there will be elders in the house they will be watching so close the door and do you can't tell the old people to what many house they do that but that is uh, ethically morally wrong old people sometimes they watch you don't have any entertainment you don't go out you sit in the house only if there if your parent, daddy mummy takes them they come with you and some very people with sickness and all they can't go out having a stick and all they can't go out they go for mine or walk so sometimes they watch tv for time passing so don't uh, what, go and sit with them and say they are watching I, I, i'm also going to watch it's not like that so till the schools are open you can attend online classes you can go to the you can see videos in youtube and develop and equip yourself and don't see, see that to, i want to see videos the youtube and don't go for seeing movies in youtube so that's also dangerous you work out and study it actually complete the notes daily many students have irregular notes not only it will reflect your your thing in this class the teacher will have a bad opinion about you and sometimes uh, when she corrects the papers and she have a bad opinion so try to finish the notes that's useful for exam time some students have seen before the exam they get on friends notebook who studies well and copy pages 40 pages they copy your handwriting will be scribbling how can you copy 40 pages in one or two days because those notes are very useful in the exam or test because the, the questions asked from the thing that answers you have to do so try to write the notes regularly daily even if you have to submit or not to submit even if it's asked or not asked so that is called uh, abhishek systematic studies so these things are called systematic studies put a schedule as said schedule is called a systematic studies i'll study for for one hour maths of an hour science of an hour i'll study for one and a half hours slowly increasing the schedule that's called a systematic study you should have it avoid distractions sometimes your friend may phone many house i have seen when the friends phone the parents take the phone and tell the friend she is studying my daughter is studying you call her after 8:30 that is good so you don't go and pick up the phone don't say my friend will get angry she will cut a sorry face or he will go he won't speak with me tomorrow nobody will like that if you have that habit of receiving your friend's phone he will try to disturb you so once or twice you cut off the phone your friend won't phone you or handle leave to parents they are handle the matter don't try to plug the phone and speak yourself if at all there's any any necessity if a 
parents, dad, and mom gives the phone some doubt. He's asking, finish that particular doubt and clear and close the talk. Don't encourage a talk. And uh, if you have any uh, doubts, you can put in the comment box. We work out the eight to twelve standard maths. Any topic you can come, we welcome you. And uh, Google Meet. We have online classes. If you want the whole syllabus, all the exercises. Today we started with a twelve standard student. Like that, if you want, and even somebody your friends want, you can put them. And you can you can contact or email for details. And home tuition is here, but in Bangalore is, but because of the pandemic, we stopped it. And mostly, this kind of online coaching is one to one is better now, and because there are some transmission problems and uh, power cables problem, either with the with outside or from their side, and uh, more hours we can't take it, and. Uh, So, one to one is far better. Keeping two students also is problematic for a time being. For first we started with mathematics, then we may go to physics or chemistry. And understand and study. Deepak Samsanraj, welcome. Is it good having group study after school reopens? Generally, group study is good for girls, not for boys. Ninety percent girls is the group study. It's my experience. See, boys, when they have group study, they study. I have seen cases where they plan to go for some picnic, go to a lake and swim, ending in trouble, going for a movie. They study for ten minutes or fifteen minutes and going for it. Generally, group study is not advisable regularly, especially on the eve of the exam. For suppose the exam is next Friday, that week or ten days, don't go for group study. Sit and study alone. One student may be smart, one student may be weak, so it's a very hard problem to fit in the group. One student may be thorough with one particular topic, probability. You may be weak in the topic. Other student may be thorough with coordinate geometry. So it's very hard in a group study. Not only for maths, even in science subjects, one may be good good in atomic structure, one may be good in light theory, sound sound theory. So group study is not good at the eve of the exams. Number one, at least one week before the exam, you cut up this group study. Whether it's a boy or a girl, you sit and study. Before that, you can have a group study, but uh, making it regular is not good. Occasionally, you can have it once or twice in a week. You lose your individuality, your identity. You lose. And uh, sometimes uh, many students get inferiority complex, or superiority complex, or overconfidence. And uh, sometimes what will happen? There are a lot of drawbacks if you put in a balance, positive points and negative points in a group study. Negative points will be more. There may be one or two group study being successful. So group study, what will happen? Uh, it'll be like what to say. One doubt you are asking. One student knows that some fifty percent he'll try to explain. The same some another student knows a boy who said fifty percent he'll try to explain more smartly. Listen, this is better to learn it. Another student may that same some which you asked as a doubt he may ninety percent. All the three students will try to put you confusing. Finally, you'll do, you do you won't understand the sum itself because you've gone for a group study to make that up. So group studies are not advisable. Especially on the eve of the exam, again I repeat. Okay, you sit and study in the home. You can do it once or two, twice occasionally, but don't make it as a habit thing. And uh, about holidays, study during holidays, Saturday and Sunday. It's a full day holiday. We'll take it. Then what you do is the previous day. You can study till eleven thirty, twelve also, and get up a little late with seven to seven thirty. Because any time, whether the parents go for a job or not, mornings are hard. Time moves very fast in the morning. If you get up at five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, will come very fast before you go for coffee or tea. So if it's a holiday, means like Saturday, Sunday, a Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Monday is a festival. 
or some four days holiday. Only if you're in, suppose you have to celebrate a festival, like Diwali, Ramzan, or Christmas. So one day you can celebrate. No harm in it. You, that, that day you can leave your your birthday. Or three also you can study, but some festival is there, some religious festival. You have to take part in it. You have to go to a temple or a church or a mosque. You can go. Nothing wrong in it. So otherwise, what you do is, if it is a holiday tomorrow, try to study till eleven thirty like that. Don't study like one thirty and all. After twelve thirty or one, it's not good. Uh, you'll get a headache. In the long run also is not good. Till eleven thirty is better. And then get up in the morning. Again, you can start studying after nine thirty. Finish all your things. Like different everything. Taking bath and all. And then what you do is after ten uh, to to twelve thirty, you can study. Then have the lunch. By one o'clock or something. After one or one thirty, you can have a lunch. Take some rest and go to sleep for one hour or one and a half hours. Not more than that. If you have more more sleep at night, you won't get to sleep. So then unnecessary you'll be you'll awake in the night. Does it help me when I teach my friend? Hundred percent, it helps you. But first, you must be thorough with the topic. Otherwise, it'll become a blind showing your way to the blind. If a blind shows your way to the blind, both will fall in a ditch. So first, you must be thorough with the topic or the sum which you're going to teach. If you yourself is not thorough, both will get confused, and you also get confused. So that is it. Blind, blind showing the way to the blind. So first, you try to be thorough with it. It's nothing harm. If you're thorough with the sum, you can teach your friend. Then you will become more thorough. So interacting with friends in in a sum or a thing, a topic which you know well, a concept what is being you know, you can teach it. Then you have more in-depth knowledge. Your your IQ increases. But don't make it a regular feature. Let him ask his teacher. Sometimes you may teach. He may understand. But the exam marks won't come. And then what happened? The friend will scold you. What you taught, I I wrote it. Teacher is not giving marks. So it's better to follow the school teacher thing. Uh, but otherwise, it's not that thing. Welcome, Elan's tutor. Tutor. Happy to see you in our live chat. You can give us some ideas. Welcome. And. Uh, you can give us some ideas to make this talk more interesting and uh, you can tell your friends your friends and neighbors to join this one this talk also give some suggestions to improve this talk continuing the topic a tips for study or how to study and uh, I think your online classes are very nice. YouTube, you make it. So told by it. So, yes. So I welcome you. And you can start chat and give us some ideas how to improve on it. Thank you. And continuing with the topic of how to study effectively. So, a lot of uh, ideas I, I gave you. Above all, understand and study. You shouldn't keep the book. Nothing goes in the mind. They sit for two hours, three hours. I was heard parents telling me, "Sir, daily my son or daughter studies for two hours after coming from school. But when the result comes, he's getting single digit mark. I don't know what he's doing, what he's studying. He keeps the book in front of him. He's studying. He writes, 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 writing something. What he writes, I don't know. But what happens when the marks come? As I said yesterday, operation success. The patient dies. They study, 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 and finally, what happens? Nothing comes of it. So, main thing is you must understand and study. Even if you sit for four hours. And study. If you can't understand, it's a waste of time, energy, knowledge. Okay. Even if you learn little, if you study for half an hour, at least you learn a small out of ten uh, pages. If you learn at least 
two pages understand and study it is more helpful instead of studying the 10 pages nothing you understand simply what it tells tail or head where it starts and where it ends many are like that so you must try to understand and study to understand and study as i told you first you start with half an hour study many students what they do they put a big plan i am going to start studying from today for 4 hours starting itself you can't study at 4 hours nobody can study 4 hours immediately make a start with half an hour for 2 or 3 days make it 45 minutes make it 1 hour like that you try to try to slowly what increase the time don't try to what put a big plan and collapse after half an hour you feel dull and then you, you you'll just shut the book and go away so try to make this a regular offer systematic offer occasionally you can leave it i told you some function so coming for a holiday study holidays don't waste the time the time won't come back so put a time table between 2 to 4 you can leave it it's a dull time so you can sleep it but don't uh, sleep till 6 o'clock on that then whole night you won't get to sleep you'll be just full awake abhishek raj i'm doing projects interest how can you plan my study i am doing projects okay projects are various types projects uh, actually as an entertainment for some school exhibition projects for scoring marks in the final examination projects for an interview projects for a school homework so i said one to first standard to fifth standard they give a lot of projects sticking that with words and all it's very important 6 to 10th also sometimes they give projects projects means a kind of what uh, they give the syllabus and try to do some sums do some extra sums mostly the project in 6 to 10th is doing some extra sums from other syllabus the textbook itself will have some extra sums sums for practice it will it will not be asked in the exams some higher level they give us a project in schools in 11th and 12th and all they give a lot of sums from other question papers and all projects sometimes they give from question papers previous year question papers so these project sums don't do all the projects and you if some five sums are given as projects do your systematic regular sum and pick up one by one don't try to do all the five project sums all the five project question take two and do it or two which you know well and then go to the three which you don't know much Otherwise, if you go for all the sums or all the questions in the project, you lose the sums which you do for the regular homework, regular study, which have to be thorough for the ensuing exams or test. Projects are mostly meant for the final exam, for extra marks, for additional knowledge. Uh, that's the main thing. So don't forget how to study effectively. Tips to study. So a lot of things uh, I told you. this video you can watch even afterwards if you join late a lot of things uh, thing so this is between monday to friday between 6 to 7 from next week uh, we are planning to write in the board and kind of do the board to make it more interesting because it's a one way of if you write something if you have a pictorial form if you see on a board you get interested your iq increases your knowledge increases your interest increases simply talking and chatting is just like what sometimes one or two days or 10 days it may be interesting so we'll try to kind of the board for example yesterday abigi uh, from our girls house they asked a question rational and irrational numbers this is a very interesting basic topics of course you're not going to teach like all standard big topics and all uh, for like isc syllabus and some minor things we found the some it is many forget foundation what is a real number what is a whole number If you ask a student out of hundred persons in a class, ten will say, "What are whole numbers?" When the teacher teaches, they say, "Ah, this is called whole number. Whole number is but nothing but starting from zero, one to three are called whole numbers." Deepak Samson says, "What if student doesn't have proper place to study?" See, there are people, scientists in those days. I think I don't know if Ramanujam or some someone who studied in the street light and came. 
it is all down all depends upon our mindset this we have a joint family in a house all houses won't have separate study room okay in small small houses if you go to some congested areas there also children come with flying colors don't think if the house is very small there are a lot of people who don't study if the house is very big they can good 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 marks nothing to do with that house size house area you got a big bungalow so you can study with many things that's all wrong notions ideas the house may be small it depends upon your mindset and the challenge expect and the interest in the same house if you give some other thing they try to learn fast if you give one guitar to study they learn fast it depends upon the interest so in a house you can sit in a corner and study it depends upon your concentration or if you got a open space near bed like a tree you can go underneath and study i said many people have become scientists studying in the street light in those days i forgot those names because i'm telling stories of 70s uh, i think a lot of people they studied in small light street lights we were also studying in small bulb that time two bit didn't come two bits are very costly i'm telling stories of 1967 so when the bulb goes off it's very costly in those days and only for they, they get the salary no credit card debit cards or to see now this so after they get the salary they buy a bulb and put it so till that we use lamps and study and all our forefathers they all studied well and because of what lamps they studied in those days if you uh, if they study 11th standard they called ssc i still remember you can't go near their english i am not exaggerating i am not telling a lie in 1960s or 70s they they, they just studied 11th standard the english you can't go near and their knowledge thing nowadays i agree knowledge has increased there is a lot of what unwanted knowledge also with it a lot of uh, digital knowledge and other things which is only useful for certain things in those days knowledge was different sometimes they help the father in a field work they go to the field help the father and then go to study they study well i know because it's like that i also they do that one girl was selling vegetables i think in karnataka tamil nadu I, i don't know tamil nadu she was studying 10th standard her father mother is no more father left her she got one small brother and got a grandmother she goes and sells the vegetable comes and teaches the brother she studies and she gets first mark this was seen by an mla and he gave some 10000 he said i'll take all the expense for your studies you need not go to the what shop and sell what vegetables so there are ways people are studying so it's not that you should have a big house or a big bungalow to study and everything should be what pakka there may be problem some families uh, the parents the father won't be there okay they did or not in house some family problem that are not beyond our control your thing is to study my mommy or daddy will say if they have some they talk about family problems there will be some sister problem some problem with their my father sister brother they will be talking if i see they slap us you sit and study why you want to look here is nothing your business so you should not poke your nose in unwanted things of elders so you sit in a place and study at the same time they can't stop their talk they have their work and they have to feed you they have to bring you up they have to pay the rent they have to pay your fees they have to buy your books and other things to dress us for you they have to plan the future so don't go and make trouble with them you sit and study your job is to study not to go in join with them or put your nose into it sit and study and also don't make fun of teachers and all many students they have the thing making fun of teachers that is generally ethically morally wrong okay and uh, suppose you make a fun of a teachers others may laugh at it but they'll get good marks you lose your concentration so a teacher is coming for some years for example sometimes the eighth and a teacher won't come in ninth and they say i was telling june the academic year starts studies 
next march is the exam you may say 10 months i said 10 months will go away like 10 minutes 10 months will go away like 10 minutes i used to tell him to shoot 10 months will go away 10 minutes this year started 2020 all this corona again not 6 months has gone lockdowns and complete lockdowns and a thing unlocking thing so don't show fun on teachers this is all wrong obey the teachers there may be you may see something wrong in the teacher she is partial she is teaching that student well it's not like that when you become a teacher you will understand because a teacher has a responsibility to bring certain students who are bright to get good marks before exams how to take away tension i don't know 10 standard boys and 12 standard boy in tension your parents will have a tension they have to pay the rent they have to pay the ema for the house they will purchase a house they have to pay it and then they will have a job and job they will have problems teachers have to put the syllabus they are answerable to the headmistress to the school i don't know what tension a student has they themselves create tension because of not studying systematically daily you sit and study your tension comes because you are not studying if exam is on 16th you start studying on 14th and you want to you are expecting a black magic you are just phoning in some friends asking which question will come and studying a particular question and what collapse and uh, sleep well before exam but uh, don't sleep completely because you can't understand thing and all uh, so what you do is tension doesn't come if you study well if you study well you will be waiting like a lion for the exam when the exam will come i should write even if an above average student if you study well regularly systematically routine study you will be waiting for the exam to pounce on the exam to write it you may not be 100% thorough still you will be okay but if the exam is on 16th and 14th or 15th you are opening the book nobody in the world can help you even gods cannot help you you got a point because study is systematic suddenly you can't do some black magic and get it so the tension comes because you have not properly studied if you have weak in a particular topic try to be happy with the other topics you have learned the particular topic go once or twice don't get tensed up that way some students have some boys or girls with the, those are getting 99% 100% they'll be thorough with the topic and and have finished everything at 11:30 suddenly their phone will ring so this particular sum i have doubt that some will be an unwanted sum that some will be very lengthy sum that don't come in the exam so sometimes i'll say that some won't come and uh, if you have wait thing anything if it comes you tell my name it won't come 100% it won't come because in the last minute if you study that question what you have learned will collapse that is called unwanted tension don't think tension will come only for weak students with poor marks tension comes mostly even for students who get high marks above 90 understand tensions if you thorough with the thing try to be thorough before the exam don't study in the last minute last minute is just like sitting on the cat on the wall you know what's meant by cat on the wall no cat may jump this side or that side any side the cat may jump you may the last minute study you fetch you more marks or sometimes you lose marks what you are studying that is called a tension is it called unnecessary tension and don't have any examination fear finally think exam is a part and parcel of your life if you have a fear for exam you have a fear for everything i still remember one student telling in the final exam generally in the final exam outside teachers they put it so a student was writing an exam for some reason some clarification the headmaster will be there he came for some clarification must be the individual letter about some student as soon as they saw the headmaster he became panic so like that some student have some kind of funny fears nothing to do with the examination you just write the exam as you see the question paper see the answer sheet i told you yesterday a driver while driving a bus will he be side seeing or a lorry driver driving a lorry will he look left and right he just see the road and see the signal just like a train driver seeing the signal so the exam what you do see the question paper see the answer sheet and do it 
you don't just see here there some of them when they forget the formula under they took to the wall i don't know whether wall they write the formula go to the rough work write the formula two times even if it's not third time it may come you got the formula if you write two or three times so this kind of tensions comes because of unwanted thing and studying in the last minute studying in the not last minute is very dangerous tension don't study till 1 o'clock when i was doing uh, college the final exam one by vomited severe vomiting he could write the exam only half way and they sent him out he was going on vomiting and then i came to know till night 2:30 he was studying and I again got up at 5:30 the body won't accept that fall tension and you lose uh, and you have to lose uh, one year or one semester because that exam is failed nobody can help him out that's not a foolish act even if i studied little last me don't try to what study more okay what you try to try to work out do it in the last minute asking doubts to someone in the last minute and don't believe in some student telling something especially if this happened in 10th standard i know one doctor son is very good in studies he's a very big doctor the boy what happened i, I was teaching thing i gave him the questions somebody phoned him up and said so and so is in ml son he gave a question paper so he said their question paper has leaked this and that so what happened see generally what is important you can see from the previous paper any teacher will say a question paper will contain very important concepts that is given by the government that is given by the education department to test your knowledge some questions may not be thing it will be some questions are repeated so i said which are very important not thing so you can say something if you want you can join in the thing so uh formulas are confusing something what to do. i told you yesterday formulas you must write and say 10 times in my days they give imposition i remember the formula a plus b plus c the whole square is plus and minus thoroughly i wrote the formula 10 to 15 times write and see 10 times or work out more sums on the formula it will come if you are weak or have some ideas to grasp the formula all thinking power is not the same Daily write the formulas and check out. Don't study on the eve of the exams. So I was telling about a doctor's son. So I gave some questions. So what did it finally? He suddenly somebody said, "So and so is an MLA son. He's a minister. Has given some questions, checked out. He studied everything, and he left what all he said important. When he went for the exam, everything was different. And then he began to cry." He refused to come home. I'm not telling a lie. Then his parents found the water. Then they called us. And then they said, actually, this is because of what telling somebody. So don't, last week, don't believe rumors. That question is coming. This question is coming. That paper is coming. This kind of fancy things, neighbors and friends will tell you. That also is dangerous. You just study what you know and try to write. Don't worry about others, because. nobody is going to ask you about others that's the main thing so thank you friends for joining us uh, this will be from monday to friday if you like this program you can press the like button and subscribe press the bell button to receive any future uploads you can ask your friends neighbors when we should you should join we have started our online classes in google meet today the third standard student we started If anybody wants to join in for the whole syllabus test and other things, extra stuff, you can join or you can tell your friends. Home tuitions have been stopped for a time being, and you can also give us some suggestions, ideas, topics. Thank you for joining. Till Friday, you will have this program. Next week, we are planning something new. Thank you.